I saw some gold. I saw some. No, no. Oh, hello. I did not see you. Hello. Welcome to ye medieval ages. Here we will talk about medicine, astronomy, blacksmithing, architecture, and engineering. Well, shall we begin? Yeah. Let's go. Hello, I am the apothecary Theoden. I will be speaking to you about medicine and astronomy. Apothecaries were basically medieval pharmacists. They could also act as doctors. Uh, back then, they didn't use needles and things that we use today. They used herbs, mostly. Uh, one type of common herb was rosemary. It was used to clear the mind, and uh, it was also used as incense. Another common herb was mint. You could use this to brush your teeth, or you could use it uh, for treating venom. Uh, one of the worst diseases during all of medieval time was the Black Plague. This plague killed one-third the population in Europe. Next, I will speak to you about astronomy. Uh, astronomy was the study of space and the stars. Astronomers mostly used uh, space and the stars as a calendar to record certain events, such as a festival. Ye medieval action! Oh, 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 oh. hello. I am king. King, uh, What king am I? Awesomeness? Oh, yes, King Awesomeness. King Awesomeness the first. And hi, and I'm here to teach you about medieval alchemy. Alchemy is the changing of one item into another, such as like grasses or dirt or bushes, into gold. The tools that were needed for alchemy were knives, chisels, hammers, and of course, an open flame. Alchemists were usually very nomadic and would travel the world to avoid the taxes of a king. They needed many blueprints to document their discoveries to sell for very high prices. Most peasants were boosted to noble status who practiced alchemy. Blacksmithing in the medieval ages took place in many areas. The first traces of blacksmithing took place in 2000 BC, where iron deposits were found throughout Africa, Asia, and Europe. Now, blacksmiths made armor, weapons, and shields, thus for knights and also horseshoes. Depending on where you're from, such as, say if you're in Asia and you're a samurai, your armor would consist of layers made of bronze, iron, and copper. But if you're in Europe, you would have the knights in shining armor, with your greaves, the gauntlets, the pauldrons, and the bambraces. Now, armor was not just made for knights, it was also made for animals, such as the horses and the war elephants in Persia. And it seems to be that I forgot to mention one little problem. Every now and then in ye medieval ages, we would have what we call a dragon infestation. And is that what I think it is? No! No! Not the dragons! Hello, I am Master James of St. George, and he, this is what he looked like. He was a famous architect in the medieval times, and he worked for King Edward I. Back then, the most architects worked for the kings, and they designed castles, buildings, and churches that resembled them. But during the time of war, if the enemy captured or destroyed the castle built by the architect, the king will come to the architect and it's himself and kill him. Oh, good day, my lord. Oh. Gothic, Romastique, Byzantine, 
uh, Christian and Indo-Islamic. There were also, the, here's a picture of the Arby's Castle, which is in Romastic architecture, and these two is the Kami Castle, and, these is, and this is Gothic architecture. The Romastic style of architecture was through 800 AD through 1100 AD, and the Gothic was from 1200 AD to 1500 AD. There was also a lot of engineering back then. Back then, in, in, right now in the present, we have roller coasters and all these other electronics for music parts, but back then they didn't have that. So instead, they used the, these. It was man-powered man rides. They used the men just to push the rides back and forth or use a crank to turn them and spin. Also, a piano we have now was nothing what they had back then. They had like a medieval bell piano back then, and the keys were so big that the person playing it literally had a pound on it with his fist just to make the bells rock back and forth and make the sound come out. And during the time of war, they mostly used a ballista and a catapult. The ballista was basically a gigantic version of a crossbow used to shoot uh, gigantic arrows or flaming arrows at the enemy or the buildings. And the catapults, they use cannonballs for ammo, which are gigantic boulders, to destroy the enemy's castle. Oh, I think it was poison. Oh. You're alright, chap. Get up. Have a minute, Lee. Yes. <laughs> 